samba when it's really churning, I mean, it's somewhat like a train. You know, it's irresistible. Anybody you know, has to pat their foot, you know. I mean, there's a famous saying in Portuguese, quem não gosta do samba, bom sujeito não é. Whoever doesn't like samba is not a good person. <laughs> Lifting, it's liberating, it's energizing, just the rhythm of it. And then when you walk in and everything is already going, the energy level is so high. It's all joy. I, you know, it's just so much fun, it's not work at all. I never would have imagined 20 years ago that I'd be doing these things. But I decided I didn't want to be just a hanger on or a groupie. And I'd, I've been going to watch Clark's performances and go to the Samba performances, and I thought, I want to be in there doing something. Actually, Clark took a dance lesson or two with me, and I think one of your only comments was, this is really hard. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's hard. Much harder than playing the surdu. <laughs> Everyone's welcome all the time. That's our motto. No matter what your level is, no matter what your interest is. There are people from all walks of life, all age levels, all corners of various different professions and ethnicities who have come together and convened around this love of Afro-Brazilian and Brazilian music and culture. For me, it is community. You know, it's the people and the opportunity to, to play with them and have fun with them that, that keeps me coming back now, you know, going on five years. We're not just coming together for fun, and it's not just Samba, but it's just the healing environment of this overall community and culture that we've created here. So people come and feel better. And after a while, we're all hooked on that. <laughs>